This is probably one of the first webcams ever before there was webcams. In fact, this was from before a time when there was USB and we had to use a capture card for a webcam. Check this one out. Anybody remember this? US Robotics. This was their original webcam. I have no idea if this thing works or not. We're gonna find out though. We're gonna find out right now whether this thing works, but look at all the boards of this camera. Like it's got a couple boards on the back here for the interface. It's got uh, The CCD sensor is separate from the rest of the camera. It's got two main boards. It's got a lot of stuff in it, you know. A lot of stuff. This is an early CCD camera. This is standard definition. But look at that capacitor, 3300 microfarad, 6.3 volts. Of course, it's got some of these surface mounted craps on it. I'm just looking to see if I can see where this thing was made. That was a nut that went on the bottom here for for um, attaching it to a tripod, which is broken off. Or maybe that was added. That might have been added after the fact to mount this thing. I think this one, when this was new, you had a little thing, a little, uh, it, it sat in a little, like a little mount on your desk and you could, you know, it's a web, webcam. You could sit it on top of your monitor. It had a little clip and this thing would just sit in there. Um, See instruction manual, five volts, 500 milliamps. But there's the little camera sensor. It's a quarter inch sensor, this one. And uh, we're gonna turn this thing on and see whether it works. It's got a Phillips chip. I'm just looking to see if, it, if, if I can see where this was made. If it says where it was made, I don't know if it was made in China or, or where it was. This is early, so it's US robotics, so for all I know, this thing could have been made in USA. I doubt it, but you never know. That board just stuck together. Uh, doesn't seem to say anything on it. Uh, I can power this up. It's got a It's got bare wire on the end. Five volts is what it takes, and it just has standard audio video output. So let's just turn on the power supply. Set the power supply to five volts. And then uh, this should just plug into my monitor, and we'll see if it actually even works. It, it, it used to work. It worked at one time. I used to use this as a security camera. I've had it for a long time. It was given to me. Um, it was given to me many, many years ago. The guy that ran the computer shop. He had one in his store. He was selling them, and uh, this is this goes back to like the I guess the late '80s or so. It must have been the late '80s or early '90s. Anyway, um, the guy that ran the shop had one, and. When he was closing up his store, he just said I could have it. And back in the day, it had a it had a power supply for it and all, but the power supply is long gone. Okay, let me just plug this in. It had a capture card that went with it too. Looks like I've soldered something onto that plug. Make, the, make it fit. Oh, it has a picture. Cool. Actually, it's not bad. The lens is dirty. We'll have to clean that. Let me clean the lens. Look at this. It's a metal metal mount for the lens. There's the, the CCD down there. 
the lens just screws on. There's dust on the back side of the lens. I can see it spinning around as I as I turn the lens into place and bring everything into focus because right now it's just focusing on the lens itself. But uh, oh, there's a picture. Let me show. You, I'll show you the picture of this thing. It's not bad. This little camera's got a great picture. Holy crap! It's got a really good picture. This is a keeper. This one. Hello. Can focus it. My fancy new lights. Camera. Yeah, this is uh this little camera's not bad. I mean it's standard definition, so it's not like a, it's not a super high res camera, but uh it actually works. I'm impressed. I didn't expect that this thing was actually even going to work. But as you can see, it works. Cool, I guess I'll have to put this back together. That's a shocker. I did not expect that this camera was actually gonna work. It's I found it in a box. It's been sitting in a box for so long. But uh, amazing. But that just gives you an idea of the, the, the count, the component count. Let me just put this one back together before things get broken on it. This can focus in pretty close with this lens, like this, that can uh, unscrew like it does. Now this piece goes down in like that, slides into that slot. As I rip the ribbon connector apart, how did that go in? It goes in like that. And then the, the camera board fits in microphone and there was a little light here somewhere too I saw a little green light there it is a little green light goes over here see this would have come with a little capture board that that, uh, that went in the computer probably a PCI card at the time this was part of a, a like a, a conference the U.S. Robotics um, video conferencing kit, early, early video conferencing kit, and this is before USB. That's why it has composite video, because this was long before the USB standard was established. Okay, it can do negative and positive as well. We'll play around with that in a minute once I get this thing back, kind of back together. This was a pleasant surprise. I did not expect that this camera would actually even turn on. Never mind work. Screws that hold it together are missing. I can probably find some screws for it. But uh, there it is. I'll plug it back in and give it power. And it's getting a backlight, uh, backlight compensation. So if you're shooting with a with a bright background, this will actually white out the background. I'll show you what this does. And then the contrast, oh, the power button, the contrast button over here. So the negative positive switch does that. So that way you could. Uh, focused on a color negative it would turn the image back positive and uh, white balance fixed or or um, auto and then there was the contrast button over here and the contrast button see you just held it so you can adjust your video level so if you were too bright for example you could just press that button and adjust your exposure kind of neat for what it is ok 
turning up the contrast and then it'll go back down the other way anyway that little camera works I've had this since to say since uh, I want to say late 80s early 90s I, I don't remember when this one came out one can have fun with a camera like this though for feedback The neat thing about this little camera is because of the, the way that the lens was set up on it, you could focus in really quite close on things. Like if I right down to my bench, okay, I can focus this thing right down to, well, I can focus it right on almost the dirt on the lens. It was, it was really, really close. Like for example, see what I mean? I'm down at about a quarter inch from the bench here and I can focus right down. So if you want to get a close-up of something, like for example, this other really old camera, this is another really old color camera. I, I, I don't know where this came from. This came from somewhere. Um, I don't know if this works or not. I, it might. This was another camera I'd used as a security camera at one time. And I don't remember what it came in, but it was another. Look at the size of the boards on this thing; it's huge. Like, this is huge by, by you know, by standards. But I can zoom right in and go right in with this camera, and I can focus really close, like right onto like that IC, for example. This camera would be good for it's a microscope camera because you can get right in. For a good camera to examine something with because you can get it in really really close to inspect okay that's it US Robotics little color camera from back in the 80s I would think more than likely made in USA it doesn't say made in China on it it was more than likely made in USA because I think that's where US Robotics was manufacturing all their stuff. Was in the US, as in US Robotics. Thanks for watching.